excited to welcome our next guest. I am successful, I am powerful, I am handsome, I am happy. He starred in some of the most beloved films of the last decade and been making us laugh in situations that sometimes have him suffering for his art. <laughs> but in his new film, Crazy Stupid Love, Steve Carell is suffering matters of the heart in a tale about breaking up... How much? How much? Really? Oh, my God! Help! Hooking up... I want to show you off to my ex-wife make her really jealous. <laughs> ...and getting spruced up. Beautiful. Please welcome Steve Carell. Crazy, crazy, stupid love, fantastic film, no doubt about that. Thanks. I've got one little, one little bone to pick, though. One thing I didn't believe. Mm -hmm. In the film, your wife cheats on you. I mean, I, that's unbelievable. I know. <laughs> Can you... I, it, I, I felt the same way. It was because interesting to go that way, though, the woman cheating on the man. I thought that was sort of interesting. You know, it's the first movie in a while that I've seen, or, or been in, certainly, where the, the woman is kind of having the midlife crisis. But you don't blame her, do you? No, I don't. <laughs> no, and, and especially not in the movie, because I think both, both sides were responsible. So I think they have to kind of meet in the middle. In, in your real life, you've been married for over 10 years now. If you had to get back in the dating game like your character did, how do you reckon you'd go now 10 years on? I would be so lost. I, it would be terrible for me to get back in the dating game. It's been, well, I've been married 16 years. And before that, even though I was quite a player, <laughs> uh, it's, it's been a while. So I hope I never have to. And I married way out of my league, too. Aww. So there's not a chance that any, I'm letting her go. She anyway. knew what she was doing, though. Really? You certainly come on. <laughs> when, when, you, when you weren't quite the player on the on the circuit, did you have a move? Did you have like a this is the Steve Carell? Oh yeah, yeah. Right. I had several moves. I had moves one through seven. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was uh, I was pretty bad. I was not a guy who would go. I mean, imagine that that I would be bad at picking up women. I, I know. I try in a world. Try to imagine a world where down. I'm not a player. <laughs> I think the movie Ryan was a, was a great hit with the ladies. Yes. You must have been before you married, right? Uh, uh, I was I was pretty Don't be much, humble. Um, <laughs> all right, I won't be humble. <laughs> it's impossible for me to actually be humble. Yeah. Um, Ryan Gosling, uh, to I have to say, he is the most humble guy, um, and he has no idea the effect that he has on women. Not, 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 it's it's incredible. Not just women, though. Can I say? I can. <laughs> I, 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 I want to put Charlie in here. Charlie, Charlie saw the film with me and he said, I must have Ryan Gosling's haircut. Yeah. And, um, <laughs> he, look at his yeah, hair. Yeah, I've got a haircut. And it's safe to say I look nothing like Ryan Gosling. Very well, disappointing. Let's find out. Let's take off your shirt. <laughs> you take off your shirt. If we're going to get into an arms race here. Yeah. Right. So, I, see him get, I see him get changed every night. He looks nothing like Ryan <laughs> It's, it's insane the way Ryan Gosling looks in this movie. Yeah. And there's a line in the movie where Emma Stone says, you look like you're photoshopped. Mm -hmm. So Ryan took that and said, okay, well, I have to, as an actor, I have to look like I'm photoshopped. Yeah. So he started working out with a trainer, oh, and it's, it's incredible. Yeah. It's incredible. Marisa yeah. Tomei was looking pretty hot in the movie as well. How did your wife feel about you passion on with her so Oh, much? she loves it. She loves it. <laughs> she loves when I have sexy scenes <laughs> with him. I, and that's actually... Uh, really? It's no, not at all. <laughs> well, here's the thing. She knows, she knows there isn't a chance in hell that any of these women would actually be attracted to me. So, You're so putting she, yourself down a lot tonight. I'm not happy about this. It's, yeah. it's easier for me to do to kind of preclude it happening to me. Yeah. Yeah. Guess when we're yeah. all feeling sorry for Steve. <laughs> that's, that's it's pretty, pretty bad. You've had a great run of movies with um, clearly Marissa Tomei there, but, uh, but Tina Fey. Yeah. But, but you're doing a new kind of romantic comedy where it's normally romantic comedies are young, good looking people fall in love with Matt McConaughey. Uh, <laughs> but you're actually doing, do you know what? Grown ups need romance too. Right. And that's a new kind of thing you're doing. Well, that's, yeah, that was sort of the impetus for this movie. It, it's, it's a very sophisticated movie, and, and there are a lot of complications to it. And there's a lot of gray area. It's very human and very grounded. It is a very funny. It's a very good time. film. Really and another very complicated role that you have played uh, was on Anchorman, where you played <laughs> a... Uh, <laughs> Rick Tamlin, yes. uh, uh, weatherman with brain damage. Uh, what was it when you first read that role where it said weatherman with brain damage and you said that is the part that's going to make me as an actor? I wanted that role so badly. <laughs> I, thought, 
And what I loved about it is the, the, the character had almost no lines in the movie at all. And the director would say, before we would do a take, he'd say, Steve, say anything you want at the end of the scene. <laughs> and so that, that oh, begat, wow. I ate a big red candle. And, uh, you know, all of, all of those amazing. lines. I think they could be, I could go to Hollywood. <laughs> 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 Lots more we want to chat about. You happy to stick around for another segment with Absolutely. us? Absolutely. You can Crazy. say anything you want. <laughs> Last Minute News Update is brought to you by Swiss. Tired, stressed, you'll feel better on Swiss. A new study has found testosterone levels in men drop when they settle down. The US researchers have discovered testosterone levels are highest when men are single and then they drop significantly when they enter a relationship or become new dads. Isn't it just sleep deprivation? No, I think, I think your, your partner drives it out of you. Dude. <laughs> Mine actually dropped when I uh, came on the panel. <laughs> Well, Steve, as, as happy... Wait! As... It's back. Uh, was it my voice? Yes. <laughs> uh, as happy as we are to have you here on the panel, I have to say that I'm, I'm very excited that come November uh, we have an amazing guest coming to our country. Australia has had some pretty important guests over the years, but come November we'll be rolling out the trundle bed for one of the most important visits in the history of our country. No, not Paula Notes, they're coming in February. I'm talking about the most powerful man in the world, US President Barack Obama. The White House has confirmed that my buddy Barack will visit in mid-November as part of the 60th anniversary of the ANZUS Alliance. 60 years of being mates with the states. For two glorious days in November, he'll be here to meet with the PM and generally just be awesome. But he has promised to visit twice before, so can we believe him this time? Yes, we can. But above all, remember, he's coming to visit me here in Australia. I guess you guys can come too, but he, he's mainly coming for me. Can I just point out that Charlie's never met Obama <laughs> and probably won't meet him. Um, whoa, whoa. Don't take that dream away. No, well, I don't believe it. He's, he's, he's let us down twice. Yeah. I mean, has he, he, Obama ever let you down? He has not let me down, no. And I have met him. What's he like? He is fantastic. <laughs> You were missing out. He is, he is one of the most charismatic people I've ever met. Mm -hmm. Truly. Mm -hmm. oh, Aside can I from... touch you? <laughs> <laughs> um, the interesting thing, though, we're all getting very excited that he's coming here. Obviously, you would have been swept up in Julia Gillard fever when she came over to so We had a party. Yeah. <laughs> it was like that and the royal wedding. We just went crazy. John, what do you think? Do you think Julia Gillard will get a bit of a popularity boost out of having Barack here? I'm sure she hopes. I mean, she's hoping beyond hope, I think, that anybody she can be next to these days gives her a lift. But it doesn't always go for you. I remember, I remember, I remember when uh, uh, Clinton visited with Howard. He made Howard look pretty ordinary, pretty pedestrian. So, you know, you've got to, you've got to play it well. You've got to pick mm -hmm. your moment. You've got to stand in the right place and say yeah. the right things. Yeah. No, no, no. She's a pretty dynamic speaker. <laughs> <laughs> uh, interesting thing, though, when, when Julia Gillard went uh, over to the States, she took some Vegemite with her. Mm -hmm. And this is what President Obama had to say about Vegemite when he tasted it. It's horrible. <laughs> like a quasi-vegetable byproduct paste <laughs> that you smear on your toast. Pretty glowing yeah. review. Yeah. I the way he said smear. Yeah, just, <laughs> so disgusting. Smear. Have man. you had Vegemite yeah. since you've been here? I love it. Really? I can't get enough of it. Really? Just and I only say that so you don't bring it out. Make it. <laughs> can, can I make a suggestion though that you could possibly sell Vegemite? This is uh, this is the most interesting thing I've found about found out about you doing research. You own a general store in Massachusetts. I do. And we've got a photo of the general store here. That's it. Oh, there it is awesome. there. That is out of a movie. Do you work at it? What's what that happens here? Quaint? Are you, are you behind the behind the uh, the till? I, you, I, we visit there. I, I grew up in Massachusetts, and we have a house near there that we go for the summers and, you know, a vacation there. Why are you bothering doing movies when you got that money spinner going? <laughs> <laughs> we will never make a dime off the general store. So, so it why, why buy a, a small general store in Massachusetts? Um, because it's a 150-year-old store. It's preserving the history, really, for the town. Because I was afraid that that would fall into the wrong hands and would 
turn An into evil a phenomenon. Mind, that sort of thing, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Do some, some evil bidding with the general store. <laughs> no, I, I just wanted to preserve it as a general store because it's a great place for people to meet and congregate, and they're very there are few of those places around these Do you days. let people shoplift? I do. <laughs> I we encourage it. <laughs> it's a small town sort of thing to do. Here, kids, we're looking the other way. Security cameras. Well, you've no. more time to go there because you've just finished filming the office. Are you finding you're getting a bit more family time? I am, time yeah. Just... It's been great. Yeah. I have two little kids, seven and ten, and, uh, and yeah, it's been... We went to Disney World for the first time, and that was fantastic. It was... For lack of a better word, it was magical. It really was. <laughs> do it was your great. Kids, I mean, we all think you're pretty cool. Do you, do your kids think you're cool? I think. Here's the thing. I don't try to be cool, so I think that makes me cooler than I would be. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> because I think if a dad or a mom try to be cool, yeah. they are inherently less cool to their kids. Did you get that heezy? You got to. I. <laughs> you listening to is that Miley Cyrus I love Miley Cyrus like oh stay away dad You're just unfortunately we have to go you can of course catch Steve on the office at 8 30 on 11 also in the film crazy stupid love please thank Steve Carell and John Houston for joining us tonight